Let's check out the map in Atlas. It's this big, colourful area in the middle made up of circles, with each circle being a sample. You can hear them by clicking on them. It's grouped our sounds into categories. Up here we have some claps. Down here we have some kicks. As I zoom in with the scroll wheel, or using the slider on the right, you'll see it opens up and shows us more and more samples. Samples that are closer to each other sound more like each other. We can click anywhere there's blank space to move and drag around the map freely, or if we hovered over a sample, hold down the Alt key. Double click anywhere there's blank space to zoom out and see the full map. We can use the arrow keys to navigate around the map quickly, or the ASDW keys if you have enabled it in the settings. Up the top right, we have Earth Mode and Galaxy Mode. Earth Mode is more structured and snapped to a grid, whereas Galaxy Mode is more spread out. As I zoom in in Galaxy Mode, you'll see some clusters have samples closer to each other than others. This means they are much more similar in sound. Let's double click to zoom out. Go back into Earth Mode. I'm going to turn on this toggle. It means that when I hover over a sample, it will play it. Really fun way to find samples quickly. We'll turn that off. This toggle will only show you samples that you've favorited. And this button will reset all your favorites. Down the bottom left, we have a download high quality mode. If you have a pack and you're listening to low quality previews, click this to download every sample in high quality. Now let's talk about making your own maps. I'm going to enter the map mode up here in the top left. I'm going to go create new map. We'll give it a name, map2. Let's change the color. And now I can click on add to add sample folders on my computer, or I can drag and drop them from my explorer. There's a few advanced options. We can choose what file type we want to include, or we can choose that it only selects drum samples, so no synths or pads or sound effects. Once you're ready to go, click on build map and let the magic happen. And here is the new map that we've just built. Let's go back into the map view. Let's click on the edit tool over our map we just created. And there's a few more options. First, we have this option here which shows the map file on the computer. This is great if you want to back up your map or send it to someone else. We have set as startup map if you want your current map to be the default and always open when you open Atlas. Or we have the delete map button. If a folder suddenly goes missing, and we open up our map file again, it will tell us that something's missing. We can click on this, go find, and locate it on our computer. Every time you enter the map create or edit screen, it does a scan of all the folders to see if there's any changes, whether samples have gone missing or there's new samples. If there is, it lets you know down the bottom here and asks you if you want to rebuild the map. Simply click on this and it will update the map for you. We can also view our maps in the browser. Make sure the browser is open, and it's under here in Atlas Maps. Here it is here. If I right click, I can choose Set a Startup Map or Show in Explorer. Finally, if you're upgrading from Atlas 1 and you have some old maps, open up your maps and it will notify you up the top right. Simply click on Import to import your old Atlas 1 maps. And we're done.